So today we're going to talk about the socialite role and how you can be a better socialite. For many players, this role is very confusing and I want to tell you it doesn't have to be confusing. It's actually very simple. You're basically a lookout who role blocks everybody who goes to the players who you choose to and you are roadblock immune. You're basically a TP and a lookout and a little bit of a TS in the sense of being roadblock immune all in one package. So let's talk about what this role actually does. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is we're going to break down the steps of what the role does through, uh, throughout the game. You have early game play style, you have middle game to late game play style, and then you have anything past day seven is basically whatever the game builds up to. So I've played the role quite a bit and I've also uh, been experimenting with the role quite a bit to see what works and what doesn't work. And I think I've narrowed it down to three basic rules for the first two nights and three basic rules to continue. So the first three ways, and when I said three rules, I meant three ways to start the game off. Now you have EIs, you have, you have a way to play as a TI, where you basically go on a random person and you start inquiring, why did you visit this person? You're basically playing like a lookout, which is not bad. It's definitely not bad. And that leads up to the second style, which is the, to go on uh, TP lookouts, uh, obviously, because that you know, you're, you're the TP lookout all in one. But by the way, that, that, uh, that star has only one weakness, which is a veteran, because you are still not a lookout. You are not astral. You will die if the veteran is being unkind to the lobby. And the third star, which is a star that I came up with, is I nicknamed it Weekend at Bernie's because the style is to go on a DC'd person because the truth is you don't really want to be going on anyone night one. You really don't. However, if you have to go on someone and there's a DC'd player, go on a DC'd player because that one, you can find uh, psychics and seers sometimes because sometimes they do that, but two, you will find more often than not enchanters when they try to get a cheeky oh the coven member left even though it wasn't really you know like the enchanter trying to be funny so that works as well and another big positive on going on a dc person is shroud when the shroud shrouds you it will kill the dc person that lets you know oh shroud was on me it it's a, basically a mechanism not to die and all that works well for early game but then you have well anything past day three which basically you have your first that, that's how i would play socialize the first two nights unless something happens obviously well the three things i want to talk about continuing which actually you know what let's say it starts from day two because this is mostly day one territory but it can continue to day two so the first thing is you go on the confirmed TPOW or lookout or anybody of interest. What do I mean by that? Let's say you have a tracker who found someone and it doesn't feel like a werewolf. Go on the tracker. Let's say you found somebody who has information. You're obviously you're always going to want to go on the TPOW claim because the TPOW claims are always going to want protection. And a lot of times these days, People don't really fake claim TPOW because TPOW only gets you through the first phase of the game. But as the game progresses, if you don't prove yourself as a TPOW, you're just going to get outed. So a lot of people don't fake uh, TPOW. So it is a good uh, option to go on the TPOW. Now, the second option is called Exodia. You find another socialite. If you find a TP who wants to go for exodia trickster anything that you feel like you can you can keep both of you alive and he, can, he you can keep him alive and he can keep you alive even uh an exodia you know three-way or four-way whatever you want to call it you know when you have more than one tp like you, you try to keep the gang alive as long as possible and vote out the evils 
that is another very excellent way and i will be uploading a video where i did that in the near future but the third way which is my method a little bit it's i nicknamed it footsteps now, what, what what does footsteps mean so let's say you go on someone night one you go on seven night one you saw that six visited talk to six he tells you that he's a cleric he, oh no not cleric sorry he tells you he's an investigator or he tells you that he's some sort of role you go on six instead of seven again why because you're trying to see you're trying to follow the breadcrumbs you're trying to see who goes where and that's that's a way to like keep yourself keep the guest list to a minimum because if let's say six is evil if you go on let's say 12 and six kills 12 you're going to be like oh it was a retributionist and it wasn't a retribution it's it's a very interesting method that i use quite often it sounds a lot more complicated than it is and it's a lot more useful than you think it is footsteps is a great way to continue whatever method you uh started before in order to stay um safe keep the guest list to a minimum because one of this role's biggest strength is the guest list it has an ability to add people to the guest list do not add anybody to the guest list never ever 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 you don't want to add somebody to the guest list they are able to bypass your protection your party trust me you do not want to do that so overall i just want to like summarize a few things the the role itself has a lot of utilities early game you want to go for obvious people who are good to go on like tp lookouts like dc the people maybe you even want to go on six to see if anybody's going to visit six because that's also an interesting uh method people of interest you want to be on and then as the game progresses you want to be on people of interest or you want to follow breadcrumbs or you want to be part of a chain that is just stuff that, that you can do with the role the role has a lot of utility because you're able to see who's visiting and stop them that is quite powerful and that's just all i wanted to say for now about how to play with socialite and yeah that's it